Well, greetings once again, fellow modelers. I hope you're all doing very well. And I got something to show you today that, with for me anyway, brings me back to my childhood. Um, every time we hear the tale about pirates and pirate ships, especially the glow-in-the-dark model kits, I always get brought back to my childhood. And that's what I got to show you today. I want to show you guys the Jolly Roger series. And the ship in particular that we're going to look at is the Flying Dutchman. And that has been depicted in so many movies and so many stories and so many cartoons. You think of the Flying Dutchman from Spongebob. And my favorite Flying Dutchman is probably from the Disney series Pirates of the Caribbean. I absolutely love the way they did that ship. And I wish that that would be a model kit. But today, I want to show you the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger series. And this is the Flying Dutchman. Ghost Pirate Ship. This is in 1 one thirty scale. And it was originally released by Lindbergh. And this particular kit was re-released by round two and this was released in 2015 so you can see a really cool picture of the pirate ship and this one glows in the dark and again guys I don't know about you but every time I get a model that glows in the dark and pirate ships I start to think back to my childhood and how I was just it just seems so much more fun especially if it glue in the dark so let me show you the sides of the box. You can see a, a nice depiction on there. And basically, instructions in English, the features. And this has the information for different countries and different languages. And let's see. Let's see. This is kit number HL2812. You see Flying Dutchman, Ghost Pirate Ship, Glows in the Dark, I love those words. You got a cool picture of the Jolly Roger, a skull and crossbones. The same depiction that's on the box, front, and that's basically everything that's on the, uh, the side. So, looking, flipping it over onto the back, you can see Lindbergh, the Lindbergh line, paper flag. It's got the sails, the white sails. These are the vacuum-formed sails. Glow in a dark plastic. You can see the, the rat lines. And it says four anchors not shown. Flying Dutchman display stand. 18 inches long and 16 inches tall and it's got 30 cannons so that's that's pretty cool and it shows you some more pictures of the finished model lifeboats it's funny I don't think the uh, pirate ships or the ghost ship I don't think they need the lifeboats you can see the nice detailing on the front of the ship and it shows you some cannons And I think what would be good to do with this model is using the kind of translucent paint so the glow actually comes through and you could actually have some of the paint glowing as the ship glows. So that's what's on the back of the box. Let me see round two models and show you the release date, 2015. So that's basically all the box art. So why don't we go ahead and we'll take it onto the desk and I'll show you guys what's inside. Okay, so we got it over to the desk. You can see, pretty cool. This box is a little bit beat up, but what's important is to show you guys what's inside. So let's put it down and I'll show you guys what's in the box. Let me get it so you guys can see that. So right off the bat, you can see the first sheet of the vacuum form sails. Um, look like they're a little bit 
pushed in. Could have happened during shipping, but they push out pretty easily. And guys, you may not know this, but you know a good way to get it to, to reset and get all the little bubbles out and the little marks is to actually put a hair dryer up to it. And that way there you can get all of the little markings and dents. Now you can use a heat gun, but uh, that I would use caution because a heat gun is going to really melt it. And this is very thin. I don't know if you guys can see how thin that is. And it's a very thin layer of styrene that goes into the mold when they film it. Uh, not film it, they form it. But this would actually be taken out with uh, a hair dryer. And when I do the build, I'll show you guys how to go about doing that. So that's the first sheet of sails. And we got a second sheet. Let me show you guys. Again, it's a little bit dented. That can come out with the uh, introduction of the hair dryer. Pretty nice, the billowy sails. Um, it doesn't look like these glow in the dark. But we could find out later when we do the build. But they look like they're just white sails. And this one's a little bit stained. Like with any model, guys, you want to, before you do a build, you would wash it with warm, soapy water to get off any contaminants, as well as some of the releasing agent from the molds. Um, these will look nice. Again, once they're washed and the hair dryer takes out some of the markings. All right, so it looks like we have the main section of the ship. Go ahead and Ooh, look at that. That's pretty nice. And it looks like this part does glow in the dark. The nice detail on the wooding. You can see where the cannons are gonna come out. In the back where the captain's quarters would be. And where the rudder is gonna go. And it looks like it's got a removable, a movable rudder, so when you clean off the kit, don't clip those off. If you can see those little pieces, if the camera picks it up, um, that's the hinge that the rudder is going to go on. Let me show you guys what would be the port side. Again, that's really nice. You can look at the detail where the cannons come out, the ladders, and you can see the wood planking. And again, when I would paint this, I wouldn't put primer. I would just put a translucent paint, just enough to cover the ship so that you know that there is a, a color on it, but where it's going to kind of be translucent enough where it actually glows in the dark and you can see it glow through. And I'll try to demonstrate and see how good this is, and I'll show you how it glows in the dark in a minute. But let's go through some of the, uh, the other pieces. So this bag had the, the two halves of the ship, and it's got one tree. This one has some nice pieces on it. You can see the anchors, and it looks like this piece is about to break off. So let me show you guys that first. And this is the part that would be on the aft end of the ship, the captain's quarters. Let me show you guys the detail that's on there. It'll paint up really nice. Again, using a translucent paint, you don't want to use any strong paint or heavy paints. So let's put that aside. And let's see, well, let me start with that area where that was. 
You can see there's more. It looks like the tops of the decks or the vents or the cargo holds. You can see the front of the ship. And this is cool. Look, check it out. You got little pirates. <laughs> Let me get them in focus for you. You can see they actually have the little pirates that are on, the little ghost pirates. I'll try to take a picture and zoom in for you. I don't know if they're skeleton pirates or just regular figures. But that's a nice little touch. And let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 12 pirate figures. And right below the figures, it looks like these are the bases for the cannons. That's what that looks like. And then below that, you can actually see the cannons. And it looks like some of the rat line. Below the cannons, we have some of the lifeboats. Well, not some of both lifeboats, because there's two of them. And finally, we have some of the grills for the hatches. And that looks like the little stands for the lifeboat, for the lifeboat to rest on. And I'm not sure what these are. And we go to the other side, and you guys can see the, um, the anchors. Again, the glow in the dark. And you can see the cross sections of the anchors. And moving up, we can see some of the ladders or staircases for the deck. And above that, I'm not sure what these are. And then you got the little rings. I'm not sure what those are for either. But that's what's in the first bag. And we got another bag. And some little goodies in here. It looks like we got the deck planking. Yeah, that's the first thing I'll show you guys. You can see the detail of the planks. And I'm thinking that that was, let's see, this one is probably the gun deck. Or this one is the gun deck. Yeah, this one is, is a little bit wider and larger, and it would go down. And the, uh, the hull section, the wider point, you can see where the cannon would go. So this is the gun deck. You can see the planking is nice. Maybe a little bit of dry wash on that. Just enough to show that there are planks would be nice. Although that's gonna be on the inside of the ship. I don't know how visible that would be. Let's see now. And this looks like the actual stand that the ship is going to rest on. You can see the sign, the Jolly Roger. And this one appears to have the masts. There's some nice, show you the detail on the mass and the cross sections that are going to hold the sails. You can see some of the railings, and these look like more railings and pieces for the lifeboat. And there are some more small rigging 
or cross sections that the sails are going to hang on. So that's nice. What else we got in here? Let's see. The last part in the bag, we have, looks like some more railing. And we got the ship's wheel. That's nice. And looks like some more of the vents for the lower deck, so the cargo holes. And there's more sections. I'm not sure if these are going to be for the sails. And let's see, what are these? More railings. So that's nice. Not sure what those are. So that's everything that's in the second bag. Now the third bag looks like it has the rat lines in it. And if you guys are wondering about the instructions for this, I will put up all the instructions for you guys. All right, the first one, there's two trees in here, and they look identical. You can see the rat lines. And these are molded in black plastic. What might be a nice little touch to these, perhaps dust them with a little bit of the... Um, glow-in-the-dark paint. Now I've shown you guys the Ravel pirate ship, the glow-in-the-dark pirate ship, and it kind of had the paint that came with it, and you dust it with the brush on little sections. Not necessarily totally covering it, but just enough where it's splotchy and it looks like an apparition. And I showed you guys the Pirates of the Caribbean ship as well, but that one doesn't light up, the, uh, the Black Pearl. But that would be a nice little touch. Not only on the on the rat lines, but for all of the, um, maybe the sails as well. And all the sections that are not glow in the dark. You can see the, they're identical, both of these trees. And it's for all the rat line. And that's everything, looks like that's everything. Yep, that's everything that comes with the kit. And like I said, this would be a should be a quick, easy build. Um, very straightforward. Let me go ahead and try to put the halves together, and I want to see if I can actually get them to glow in the dark and give you guys a demonstration of what it'll look like. And they're attached to the trees, so let's do a half at a time. I'm going to hold it up to the light for a second, and then I'm going to put the lights off. All right, so I've been holding it up in a light for a little while, and let me go ahead and put the lights off and try to, yeah, that's not going to, because of the window, I'm not going to be able to see it that well. All right, I really wanted to show you guys the ship glowing in the dark. So let's see if I can show you this. But that, my friends, is the Jolly Roger series, Flying Dutchman, the ghost pirate ship, originally released by the Lindbergh line, and it was re-released by Polar Lights, round two. And that was in 2015. And this will, this will make a fun little build for a weekend um, if you've got nothing else to do. And it's it'll be fun, really fun. It'll bring you back to your childhood, the glow-in-the-dark pirate ship. It's always a fun thing. So, if you guys were curious what was in this kit, I hope this satisfied your curiosity. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Thank you for watching.